Hi, my name is Carissa Henshaw and I'm a surrogacy intake specialist with Family Source Consultants. I'm here to address some concerns you might have in making your decision to become a surrogate. What is a surrogate? A surrogate is a woman who carries and delivers a baby for another person or persons who may not otherwise be able to have their own genetic child. There are two different types of surrogacy. The first is traditional surrogacy. In this case, the carrier will use her own egg to create the baby that she will carry and deliver for someone else. She will have a genetic tie to this child. The second is gestational surrogacy. In this case, there are a culmination of ways that genetics are used, be it the intended mother, intended father, or donors. But under any of these circumstances, the gestational surrogate is not related to the child she is carrying. The world of surrogacy is so small until you actually enter the world of surrogacy. At that time, you realize there are so many different people who work in the industry, be it psychologists, attorneys, agencies, clinics. With that said, it is very important for you to do your research on the agency you intend to work with. Check out their Facebook page, check out their reviews, check out their website, and don't hesitate to call to ask questions. How long is the process? So that's a really good question. I think I have been asked that question every single time I've done an interview. The process can be anywhere from four to eight months from the time you do your interview until you go for your embryo transfer. I say on average it's about six months. Um, the intake process is actually fairly quick with Family Source, and we have many intended parents waiting in our program. So matching is not the lengthy part of that six months. It's all of the stuff that has to happen. There's OB, OB appointments that need to be had, um, psychological evaluations. We have to gather records, background checks. Um, and then there's the matching process itself. There's the pre-approval with the clinic when they review your records, legal, travel, medical screening. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into being a surrogate. But on average, I would say from the time you interview with us at Family Source to the time you're going to go for your embryo transfer, you can bet it's going to be right around six months. Basic requirements um, for a surrogate is another really big question we get asked, or asked. Uh, and that just really depends on the clinic that we're working with, the intended parents we're going to match you with, because every clinic has their own set of guidelines that they follow. But on average, the biggest ones that we go by are surrogates have to be at least 21 years old and under 45. They have to have a BMI of under 35. Um, they have to have had at least one healthy pregnancy and raising said child. Um, and then they cannot be on any forms of government assistance. Family Source takes pride in offering generous compensation packages to our surrogates. The first payment due to the surrogate, which is typically $1,500, happens at embryo transfer and is compensation for the time and energy invested into the journey up to that point including starting medications and then the actual embryo transfer itself. The remainder of the compensation will be paid to the surrogate over the duration of the pregnancy. Typically, this is split into eight payments, with the first being due at confirmation of heartbeat and monthly payments happening afterwards until delivery. Importantly, all funds due to the surrogate are kept in an independently managed escrow fund. Family Source requires that the surrogate's full compensation be deposited into the account before she is allowed to start medications in preparation for the transfer, thereby ensuring that all money due to the surrogate will be paid. The relationship between a surrogate and intended parents is different for every match, just like every other relationship is very different. Some surrogates and intended parents really want close relationships with each other throughout the whole process and will text and call and email and Facebook each other every day. Other times there's a lot more space in between contact. Sometimes 
intended parents want to just let surrogates do their thing and trust them to kind of go through the pregnancy and don't need a lot of contact. And other times there's a lot of, um, a lot of interaction. And then after the pregnancy, after the baby or babies are born, that also really depends on the surrogate and the intended parents and how they decide together they want their relationship to move forward. All of our surrogates are given profiles of intended parents that they could potentially match with. And the surrogate gets to decide if she feels like that is a good match for her. Once she decides that she likes the parents and wants to move forward, then the parents look at her profile and decide if they feel like it's a good match. And then the surrogates and then the intended parents meet together and have an opportunity to get to know each other a little bit and decide whether they still want to move forward together. So it's definitely a collaborative process that everyone has a say in. The process of being a surrogate definitely does affect your day-to-day -day life. Especially in the beginning, there's a lot of appointments and a lot of work that has to be done in order to make sure that you're ready for the embryo transfer and then to make sure everything is going okay, that all of the hormone levels are where they need to be so that the pregnancy can continue and be successful. Once you get released, your obstetrician and you're no longer working with the fertility clinic, it's a lot more like a regular pregnancy, except for if you're in touch with your intended parents on a regular basis. Um, but you know that's not really that much different than sending your mother your belly pics when you're pregnant. People ask a lot if it's difficult uh, to give up the baby. I say give up the baby. Um, when you're a surrogate, but really going into the process, you know that the baby belongs to your intended parents. I kind of thought of myself as a prenatal nanny. It was someone else's baby. I was just taking care of the baby for a while. And when that baby was born, I could not have been more delighted to watch her parents hold her for the first time and to watch that family that I had been helping to create for so long just kind of come alive. Family Source is very involved through the whole process of surrogacy. My job as case manager is to kind of hold everyone's hand and walk them through the process. I make phone calls to a lot of different agencies, um, to the fertility clinics and the monitoring clinics. I do a lot of the background gymnastics so that the intended parents can sit back and the surrogate can sit back and everyone can make a baby. Um, we're always here for any questions or concerns that surrogates or intended parents have throughout the process. So if you're interested in more information and becoming a surrogate, please click the link below, fill out the short questionnaire, and we'll be in touch with you shortly.